I always think back to many of the articles that the Communist Party wrote about in its heyday in, in and outside of the U.S. And they said they'd have to always disarm the people before they could take it over, take the whole country over. That they always said that from the days of Lenin onwards. And really nothing has changed, obviously. I can remember Solzhenitsyn, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, when he said that after the revolution in Russia, eventually it kind of settled down as they got some kind of order in society and and the, the mass chaos started to get diminished a bit after many years. But then the, the NKVD, which is uh, their secret police and so on, do night raids, sometimes early morning, two, three in the morning, that's when they love to come in. When people are gone to bed, they're, they're tired, they just fallen asleep, and bang, in comes the door, and you're dragged out of bed and hauled off. And under the Soviet system, they, had, they would turn out the whole street to witness the poor unfortunates getting dragged out of their, their beds and into the streets. And that acted as a tremendous, tremendous incentive not to let it happen to you. But the thing is as well, they didn't know at the time. It didn't matter if you were complaining about it or not. They were picking people up for obscure little reasons. And that had farmers everywhere, even in their workplaces. If you made a little joke about something, just a little quip, a passing joke in the day, about the system or whatever, it's a joke. Every country does it. Then you'd be lifted and off to the gulag or, or, or killed. And that's what Solzhenitsyn said. He says you can't allow this to start. If you allow it to start and continue, it's done at the, from the beginning. You're, you're finished. He said we should, when they came to grab our neighbors and our families, at two and three in the morning, where only four of them would arrive, perhaps. He says, if we had just grabbed anything at all, pick handles, anything at all, and attacked them, finished them off, nip it in the bud at the very beginning, then the horror and slaughter of millions of people might have been averted. And it all happened because everyone was following the instructions to be politically correct and shut their mouths and turn their eyes away when someone was, was, was deemed some nasty slur on them, on their character by the state. And these slurs, just like, oh, you're, you're a counter-revolutionary. It's always a little slogan, you see, a term they can slap on you that immediately, if, oh, you start, you start blushing even if you're not one. You're trained, you see. Don't let it happen again, because we really are going into it in a big, big way, unfortunately. Terribly sad. And the horror will come out of it. Well, <laughs> it gets worse every time, really, doesn't it? The 20th century took the biscuit for mass, incredibly mass slaughters. And yet the techniques behind them have been actually improving to make it even better and bigger the next time. Well, don't let it happen. And you better use your freedom of speech. And yeah, even if you, 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 <laughs> if you open up some kind of forum or whatever, just to speak little bits of the truth, it doesn't matter. If you're on the right track on anything and you haven't broken any rules, you will be labeled this or that and the other, other, and you will have other people coming into your forums and adding their nasty stuff to it to get you a dirty name. Happens all the time. But you've got to keep using your freedom of speech. And don't fall into joining this group or that group or whatever group it happens to be. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. And don't be used. Whatever you do, don't be used. <laughs>